There it is. A friend of mine who's a farmer out in the uh, eastern part of the Adelaide Hills contacted me, told me that he knows a fella who knows a couple who filmed an unusual animal last year in October. Um, they were out going for a drive just in the country one afternoon and um, as they were coming down the road, a uh, peculiar looking dog-like creature was running back and forth across the road. It had been raining lightly, um, but they had to slow right down so they didn't actually run it over, so they got quite close to it, within about 15, 20 feet of the animal. Um, they said it had a very ugly head, that was the way her husband described it to me. Um, couldn't see stripes on it, but it looked like it was two-toned in colour, more like the top half was darker than the bottom half, so there was like dark markings across the top of the spine. Not necessarily striped though, um, but they said its stomach uh, was in like a greyhound dog to a degree um, and it had a deep rib cage it was very lowly hung and it run really peculiar when they first sighted the animal they went down to uh, a creek and the creek was flooding this was in october last year spring rain um, and they ended up turning around going back and the lady of the couple basically said i'm going to get my camera filming uh, on my phone, just in case that animal runs past again. And uh, as they reared around the near around the bend, that they were uh, where they originally saw it, they uh, got a, about three seconds footage of it running across the road. Not much, but it's enough to see the gait of the animal, um, which incidentally is very similar to um, Gary and Liz Doyle's animal from their 1973 footage from Wilpena Pound. This is also in South Australia, but a lot further south, only within an hour or so's drive from Adelaide on the eastern side of the Mount Lofty Ranges. Um, and it's an interesting bit of footage. From all accounts, they said it was more thylacine-like than fox or dog. Um, and it definitely had a peculiar gait about it.